Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rage Against the Dice and today we've got a Bros and Badgers uh, feature for you. I have received today, um, straight from Oathsworn Miniatures, the um, newest supplement for Bros and Badgers. Now this is a campaign supplement as you can see here. It's um, interesting, it's a two-player campaign called the Warren Percy Affair. Now, as I just said, it's a two-player campaign, which is unusual for um, a lot of campaign systems, but um, you'll see why. Now, full disclosure, this isn't an unboxing. I have had a look at this um, because I couldn't help but not to. I was very excited by it. Uh, but we'll show you what you get. Right, first thing you get is I'll cover that up. You do get um the an option to if you contact them with your order number, which I'm covering up with my thumb, um, and you ask, they will send you a PDF copy, which is cool for people who like to have things on their tablets. Now, we have with dedication, we have the contents. What you get is you have scenarios, but you also have new rules. Um, rules for freelancers, which are pretty cool, like pre-gen characters. Regular sh scenarios, a uh, bit of everything that's uh, been released. Now, for those who don't know, Oathsworn have got a deal with Sarissa Precision. Um so what they've done is if you have got their their terrain which is really nice um they've got a key here so when you have the maps later on you can set it up exactly how intended right so sort of campaign this is is it's a story campaign um as you can see and um Basically, you get some low plot, low plot, some of the uh, minis. I think all of these were painted by Michael Lovejoy himself, because um, not only is he an excellent sculptor and game designer, he's also a great painter. You know. Um, so here we go. First scenario, which um, I'm not going to spoil everything. Well, we'll just mention how this starts. It's a two-player campaign, so it, both both uh, players take 400 pennies worth of characters and um, can create the warband. And the first thing is, it's a hiring fair. Now, basically, there's a job that this Abelard Snook is advertising. And what you have to do is a three-phase scenario. Where there's one where you set up target dummies and you score points for how much damage you do or doing damage and destroying it. Um, second one's a wizard's duel, which is cool. And the third is an actual kind of fighting duel, um, which is really interesting because it gives you extra rules for um, dueling. You know, rather than just kind of rolling dice at each other, you get to kind of pick your tactics and whatnot. Now, all the scenarios then follow on, kind of, um, as you've got these two rival war bands doing their thing. I'm just going to quickly flick through this, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Because um, I'm actually inclined not to read the scenarios ahead of time, and kind of uh, just enjoy them as we go but there is a tavern scenario and here's a layout of a tavern I'll probably use a 3D printed one when it comes to that in fact I have a feeling Kev will insist on it and um, I have printed it so yeah more just beautiful photography of um, some of the minis there's a the mouse I'm very much in the mouse representation I'm very pro mouse. Um, I'm up to 14 mice now in my warband. More mice. Right, so you got new rules. 
New skills. Kind of tweaks your skills. Modified core rules. Then you got these freelancers, which are kind of a pre-gen, pre-gen um, kind of a mercenaries. Now, first one's Rosalie Quickpaw, which is the miniature I got today as well. So I'm just going to show you there, and she is awesome. So far, I've got her based up. Got some green stuff on the base, so it matches the rest of them. Just loving her with her fans, which are, which are fighting fans. And she has amazing stats. There she is, kicking butt with those fans. Um, you've got some of the other ones. So many new guys. Armadillos. There's a uh, Kev's um, war tortoise, platypus. So you've got new minis, and you've got some new scenarios, planned maps, more beautiful artwork. Then um, have FAQ because no one gets it right first time out, um, and uh, yep. There you go. So you got rules, you got scenarios, you've got a new campaign, and this you get for eight pounds plus VAT, which is nine pounds sixty. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's an excellent quality book. Um, part of me would like to have it in the same size as. The rule book, whether that would be a larger rule book or a smaller version of this, I'd prefer a larger rule book just because then all the pictures are bigger, all the art's bigger, and it's nicer. Um, but yep, yeah, all that for eight pounds coming in at sixty-three pages, full color, you know, nice finish to it. Yep, yeah, um, I think it's worth every penny. I think for anyone playing Burrows and Badges. I think this is a very good um, addition to your collection. Uh, so, yep, it gets the Rage Against the Dice two thumbs up. Um, you can get this from the Oathsworn website or Osprey Games. Uh, we'll put the link in the description below. Um, and hopefully you check it out. And if you're curious, um, once how it actually looks once um all this isolation is finished um kev and i are looking at running the campaign kind of an episode of scenario kind of going through a story and seeing how we 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 end up um so it'll be my mice versus his is cold-blooded reptiles and amphibians um and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It looks a looks a great like um great from what I've seen. But like I said, I haven't looked at all the scenarios because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but there you go. Um, oh, hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give us a like below. Um, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to your channel and sharing this with your friends, especially if you're interested in burrows and badgers and think this might be what convinces them to take the plunge um this week you've also also been able to see kev sharing his um his amphibians on the channel which he's finished painting so you can see his war band see what sort of quality the miniatures are i mean they are excellent mine are currently in the works there um all mice, as you can see. Um, and uh, that's it from me. I've been Nate, you've been awesome, and I'll hope you pray to your dice gods and they smile upon you. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.